Good evening, folks, and welcome to Cersei Lions Stadium as we begin, or about to begin, the girls' soccer varsity matchup here tonight. The girls are going up against Green County Tech, and girls also looking to stay undefeated with the win tonight. Cersei had a wonderful game last, or before the spring break happened, where the girls took on a dominant, I believe, 8-0 victory as they get the kickoff started here. So Green County Tech will have the ball first on their right side. And Cersei already asserting their dominance on the field. Starting off with that aggressiveness. One thing that Cersei's going to do tonight is be aggressive on both sides of the field. Last time we see these girls played, the ball hardly ever got to the opponent's side of the field. So these Cersei girls would love to keep that ball on Green County Tech's side of the field. Just stay aggressive all game long. 40 minute halves, no extra time. As Green County Tech's goalie kicks it right to the Cersei defender. So they will get it back now. Green County Tech will have it on the left side. Tries to go to cross kick. Was a little too light. The Cersei, they will end up stealing that one. Georgie now has it. In the middle, McMahon kicks it over to Daniel. Daniel looking to kick it to the inside. Instead, they decide to reset, kick it to their goalie. Now they're going to send it to the opposite side. Cersei now pushes it up towards the right field. It's Lexi Eddins. She crosses over back over to Georgie. Georgie, she's running towards the middle. Gives over to Piper. Piper was looking to give it back to Georgie, but instead, ball's going to be intercepted and kicked out of bounds. It's going to remain Cersei's ball. Avery Meadows brings it up the middle, goes for a shot of her own, but the goalie is there to save for Green County Tech. Looking for a long kick downfield. It's going to be towards the middle. The Cersei fights for a possession as they win the possession. Looking to go to the right side was Abby Lawson. It says sends it back to Sarah Daniel. It's Green County Tech. They stole the ball towards the middle. Now they're going to push it up the left side. And fourth scrambles lead to it being out of bounds. The Green County Tech, they're going to re kick it out of bounds. Still in Cersei's possession. Cersei, they'll send it over to Abby Lawson. Abby was looking for somebody towards the right side. Cersei can get there if they're quick enough as Green County Tech. They're going to go ahead and steal it in a very bad position. Cersei looks to take it back as they. This gun ball is going to be kicked out of bounds. I believe it's going to remain Cersei's possession. As the refs say it will. Cersei with the throw in, gives it back, crosses it back over to the left side. Cersei now looking to be more aggressive as Lexi Brown tries to send it over into the middle, but Green County Tech is going to send that one just right out of bounds. Not going to chance anything on the inside. She's now with the corner kick. Decides to just send it back in. And an early goal for Cersei. Let's see who that was right there. I believe that was Sarah Daniel. On the inside there, getting a nice and quick goal early. And the Cersei, they take an early 1-0 lead in the first five minutes. 
So she's usually known for these type of performances, but it would be really nice to see these girls keep up this momentum tonight. As their last game, two of the girls had hat tricks, I believe, in Avery Meadows and Georgie McMahon. This position now, Green County Tech. Just going to work it towards the backfield and send it over to the right side. Tries to cross, but the pass is way too high. Gonna send that one straight out of bounds. So it'll be Cersei's possession now. His throne was kicked a little too hard there. Georgia McMahon comes over from the pass from Sarah Daniel. Brings it over to the middle. She's looking to send it over to, I believe... Abby Lawson sends it over to the right side. Avery was almost there in time. The goalie tries to save the ball, but is unable to. Essentially, they save the ball on the inside. And Green County Tech's going to send that one out of bounds again. Nice change of pace for Cersei. They intercepted the pass. Tried to bring it all over to their side of the field and straight to the middle. And now with the throw, and Avery Meadows has the ball. Straight over to the right side. And now Cersei's looking to play a little more defensive. Cersei now looking to get some passes around, sends a shot to the inside, but the goalie for Green County Tech is there to recover. It's Lexi Evans on the right side was debating keeping it to the right side, but instead he's going to send it back to their backfield and now she gets the ball back on that right side looking to keep it there as Green County Tech looks to intercept the pass but the pass goes out of bounds so it's now with the throw in it's Kate Daniel now housed in the middle of the backfield Lexi Brown at the logo she sends it over to Lucy Eddins Abby Lawson now sends it over to Lexi Brown. Lexi looking to cross it on the inside, but instead Green County Tech has it. They're going to kick that one right out of bounds. And Cersei, they're going to keep that alive, actually. It's a nice pass from Piper to the middle. She gets the ball back, but Green County Tech intercepts that one and kicks it out of bounds. Addison Hardcastle had the ball for a while there, trying to scramble over to the middle to get a clear shot. But eventually got kicked out of bounds. Tech right now is a one-man army just sending it over to the left side trying to get something up going in the middle but instead it'll be Cersei possession as Cersei's looking for Georgie towards the middle but balls kicked a little too strong Avery Meadows now has it in the middle for the pass from Lucy tries to cross it over to the right side instead Piper Holmes on the left side It's 
Kate Daniel now has it back up top, sends it over to the far right side, passes kicked a little too strong. It's Green County Tech now will have possession. Green County Tech struggling here early. Seriously playing some amazing defense. Tech was looking to make something happen in towards Cersei's own territory. The crosses from Green County Tech's player was kicked a little too strong, and Cersei now intercepts as they send it over to the right side. As Abby Lawson now has it, sends it over to Georgie. Georgie's in the middle, has to get there quick enough. And she slows the pace down. The defender behind. Might have been a little contact there, Green County Tech was looking for. As McMahon makes a move on the inside, Green County Tech sends that one out of bounds yet again. As Cersei is, has to reset. Straight shot on the inside is deflected, but another shot, that one's going to be deflected as well. It's another close attempt. Three really close shots right there from the Cersei players. That time, Piper Holmes, the one with the closest as it was just barely above the goal. Lexi Edens on the inside sends it over to the right side, but Green County Tech is there as they intercept. Now they're going to push it up towards Cersei territory. Tech sending it back to Cersei. Cersei now has the possession as from the throw-in. Georgie had it. Now Addison Hardcastle struggling to fight for it. Now Addison Hardcastle has it on the left side. She brings it up towards the middle. Now the Cersei players are coming up. Is it going to reset towards the backfield? Alexi Edens on the far right has the ball stolen. And Tech tries to push it up the middle. Ball stolen again. And now scrambles back and forth between both teams. Clear look on the inside from Kate Daniels' pass as she has the ball again. Sends a shot of her own, and that time is going to go in. First Sarah Daniel, not Kate Daniel. Sisters now both have goals of their own. We're under 30 with 27 remaining in the first half. Cersei with a quick 2-0 lead. Long pass to Cersei's territory is going to be intercepted. Cersei now has it on the far right side over there to Lexi. Georgie sends it to Abby Lawson. Lawson sends it back to McMahon.
Green County Tech will now have possession. Ball deflected out of bounds. See where Green County Tech is going to send it. Going to just send it straight. So there's a player down for Green County Tech. I start to they're just going to send that one out of bounds so the player can get subbed out. Hopes she's okay, struggling to walk off a bit. Cersei with the throw in, going to reset it in their own territory. Cersei, after the interception, just sends it right back. And now Green County Tech will send it back forward. It's pass a little too strong. It's Green County Tech will regain possession. has a deep in Cersei territory. She's looking for the right side. Have somebody open towards the right side. She's going to be forced to shot. That time just sends it straight. Not quite the angle she wanted on that shot right there. Cersei now just keeping the ball towards that right side as now they're going to try to push it up towards the middle for McMahon now up the middle crosses over to Avery Meadows Avery she's going to shoot right there but that time the goalie's there to save shot just a little little too weak Edens looking for a pass instead gets kicked out of bounds. And off of the post of the goal right there, probably an unexpected goal from both teams. I'm sure, not sure anybody was expecting that one. I believe that was McMahon, her first goal of the day.
So now as we're leaning towards under 20, Cersei with a 3-0 lead against the Lady Eagles. Cersei now looking to slow things down. Cersei tried to push it towards the inside. Green County Tech looking to recover. But Cersei with that tight defense. And Green County Tech might send that one out. No, they're going to keep it in. Sarah Daniel went up to create some momentum. Balls went out of bound. Now scrambles over towards the right side of the field. Now says Green County Tech by possession. Couple of substitutions being made. Cersei now, Lexi Brown, she's pushing it up back towards the middle. Edens has it, passes it over to McMahon. McMahon not finding the pass that she wanted right there. Green County Tech now sending it deep into Cersei territory. As Emerson's going to send it back over to Kate. Brown had it for Cersei. Tried to send it deep into Green County Tech territory. Cersei still recovers. Holmes has it. Over to the right side is Addison Hardcastle looking for a shot. As her pass is deflected. They were looking for Avery there towards the middle with that pass. Green County Tech makes another strong pass, and so you see they're going to have to recover now. Addison looking for Holmes. Green County Tech's going to avoid. Sending that one out of bounds.
Golden Eagle shot this and that went out of bounds, but it says Hershey, they're looking to recover now. Two chances they had right there. And Green County Tech, as they recover, they're sending it over. Right now they're in the middle, looking for their right side. Nobody really down towards the right side to help. Essentially, they're going to intercept that one. And now Kate Daniels sending it back up towards the middle. Looking for McMahon as she does, but she has her pass stolen. Holmes with a clear shot on the inside just sends it right to the goalie. It was nice communication right there, but the pass usually expected to go to the left or right side, but that time the goalie didn't move as the ball went straight to the middle. Tech looking to make a couple strong passes. I believe they hit one of their own players. This Holmes had a long shot downfield. She sends that was out of bounds. Sorry, not Holmes. I believe that was Lucy Eddins. She's going to sit down now. Now towards the middle, Brown has it, sends it over to the far right side or the right corner. That one's not going to be saved in time. So now McFarland checked in for Eddins in the middle position. Green County Tech looking for a player of their own, but seriously, they intercepted a couple times. It's the Lady Golden Eagles just sent that one out of bounds. Under 13 now, Cersei 3 0 lead as they have possession as well. Green County Tech had it in the middle. Ball was intercepted from Cersei, and Cersei now they're going to push it up. As Georgia now on the right side, has a clear look, goes for a shot of her own. Goalkeeper fumbled a little bit, but she recovers the ball.
Holmes has it on the left side, sends it over to Avery Meadows. Sends it up to the middle for McMahon. McMahon just gonna keep it up the middle, no. What a nice attempt right there from Abby Lawson. County Tech had it tripped a bit. As she's struggling to get up, she's going to need a substitution. left leg Hope she's okay and Cersei now free kick sends it over to the middle Ooh, that one almost went in I'm sure Kate would have wanted that one as the ball just barely went over the goal it'll be a corner kick now Set out of bounds. Let's try again. Men shoots that one looking for an angle that would surely curve towards the inside, but that one just goes straight out of bounds on that right side of the goal. Edens tripped up a bit on the backside. Screen County Tech recovered. Player overestimated the pass, I believe, but they still will remain with it. Foul is going to be called on Green County Tech. This Kate took a hard hit to the leg, I believe. Kate now with the free kick of her own. So she's setting up. Looking to send that one to the upper right side of the goal. As Kate kicks that one out of bounds. 
Five and a half remain here in this first half. Cersei still leads three to nothing. And now the Lady Golden Eagles have about five minutes to try to get something started here. So they've been able to push it a couple of times on Cersei's territory, but nothing has seemed to get started for them. just barely saves that one Piper shot as McMahon was ready to come in there for the cleanup as McMahon that time sends it over to the left side for her second of the day Saw her shot, decided to be very quick in Green County Tech's territory and just sends it over to the right, or the left side of that goal, sorry. And Cersei now, about four and a half to go, leads four to nothing. And muff pass from Cersei. Believe it'll go Green County Tech's way. Golden Eagles and now out of bounds. Cersei now with the throw in. Teams now scrambling towards that left side as Holmes. She sends it over to McMahon. McMahon looking to send it back to Holmes on that left side. She strides down, still has it. So they're just going to send a long shot straight to the goalie with two and a half to remain here in this first half. Edens has, has it on that right side. Another goal for Cersei that time, Avery medals with her first of the day. Cersei now two consecutive goals in under 10 minutes. It's with two minutes to remain here in the first half. Cersei now leads 5-0. This medals with her first, McMahon has two. Kate and Sarah Daniel each have one.
So you see now just going to slow things down a little bit, sending it back to their goalie. Might start pushing it towards that left side of the field. Cersei now They're wanting a goal now with under 30 seconds. Just going to send that one back to the goalie. Well, muffed kick forward. Cersei now with another chance, 10 seconds to remain. McMahon now has it up the middle. Green County Tech, they're just going to let that one go. And send that one right to halftime, I believe. As the rest will call it. And at the end of the first half, your Cersei Lady Lions lead with a score of 5-0 to zero. once again. McMahon with two goals, medals with one, and the Daniel Twins each with one of their own. Back in 10 after the half, you're watching Cersei Lady Lions soccer here on Lion TV.
Yeah. Welcome back to Cersei Lion TV as we get ready to kick off the second half of the girls' contest against the Green County Tech Lady Golden Eagles. Cersei leading with a score of 5-0 to zero, as Avery Meadows had a goal in the first half as Georgia McMahon had two goals in the first half as the Daniel Twins, they each had one, giving Cersei their five. Another 40-minute half. No extra time will be added. So we get ready to kick off here momentarily. Cersei in the first half showing some amazing defense. They had a lot of intercepted passes from Green County Tech. And Cersei, they were able to recover. They had a couple of nice chances for maybe a couple of the extra points they could have put up. But either way, five goals is still very satisfying for that first half. And I'm sure the coach knows it as well. As I believe Cersei will receive here in this half. Cersei now already deep in Green County Tech territory. Eddins how net has it on that right side. Was looking to cross it over to the inside middle. Just too much momentum as that ball just went straight out of bounds. Cersei was looking to get it over to that left side. So Green County Tech playing strong defense here to start off this half. Cersei looking to steal it and instead sends it out of bounds for Green County Tech. So it remains their possession, but the ball stolen quickly by Brown and sent back to the inside middle. For McMahon sends it over to, I believe, Eddins on that left side, it looks. So Eddins now has it again on that left side. Drives it over, looking towards the middle. Well, he wasn't able to recover, so Cersei had another chance right there, but instead hits it off of one of the defender's legs as it gets sent out of bounds. As it'll still be Cersei possession in the Green County Tech territory. Cersei just trying to get it in that goal from the middle from Eddins on that right side. His Green County Tech now has it. They're looking to push it up towards the middle. Cersei just sends that one back. So now 
Lexi Eden, she'll be on the right side, and Piper Holmes, she'll be on that left, far left side for Cersei, as now they're going to look and bring it up the middle. McMahon finds Lawson. Eddins is running on that right side. Another chance right there from Holmes. Instead hits the goalpost. I believe that's our second time hitting the goalpost. Too much pressure from the Cersei defense as that'll be their possession. A hard castle. Sends it over to McMahon. It's Green County Tech will not have it in their backfield. McMahon sends it over to Meadows as she sends it back to Sarah Daniel. Now Brown has it. Looking to stay in that middle. Now McMahon sends it over to Meadows on that far left towards that corner. Man stole that ball in deep Green County Tech territory, but the goalie with a very nice save. It's Hannah Davis for the Lady Golden Eagles. It's Green County Tech cannot be doing that. As Cersei, they were really quick to get back at that ball and try to put it in. Now with a corner kick is Meadows. Another really close shot. That time it was Meadows getting back towards that middle. McMahon finds it on that right side. Now she has another hat trick. That's her third of the day. So I see a lot of clean looks in that time. McMahon finds with another tough shot earlier in the first half. She had another really tough look on the far left side of the post. 
that one ended up going in, and this time on the far right side of the post, it ended up going in. And Cersei now with that goal from Georgie McMahon, Cersei now leads 6-0 to zero with about 31 to go here in the second half. Cersei now with another chance on the inside. As McMahon wasn't able to find that one that time. Long kick is recovered by the Lady Golden Eagles. And with that goal, I believe, and now we are sending it into overtime. It's time now. We are under 15. That remains here for the rest of the game. Kate Daniel is going to be up for the free kick, I believe, for Cersei. Kate that time looking to send it to the upper right side of the goal. Instead hits the goal post. And Cersei's really loving that goal post today. They hit it, I believe, three times now. As we're under 14 to go here in the second half, and Green County Tech will now have possession. Now a bunch of substitutions are being made for Cersei. Ref is going to say it's going to remain Green County Tech's possession.
So Adams now up towards the middle. Jetta Shell had it that time. Ooh, a lot of players on the inside right there, but the goalie ends up saving that one. County Tech now pushing it up towards that left side. Who tries to send it back up? Pass is intercepted instead. So they end up saving that one. Tracy now on that far left side just sends that one out of bounds. Two close chances for Cersei. Madison almost got tripped up there on that left side. Cersei now with the throw in. High kick up forward. Jada almost come da came down with that one. So she now sends it over to Eddins. It's going up towards that middle. Crosses it over. Ooh, it was a good cross attempt. I believe Holmes just wasn't able to get there in time.
County Tech will now have possession as we're under five to remain here in the game. throw in for the Lady Golden Eagles. Cersei intercepting that one again. Now pushing it up towards that middle. As Addison Hardcastle lost that one. She got pushed down really hard right there. She's given the yellow card. Just getting way too aggressive here late. Crossing it over to that middle side. They are in the territory now. Sending it over to Meadows. Back over to that far left. Keeping the ball in play towards that corner. It remains Cersei's possession.
Just looking to keep that one in play. But we just barely went out of bounds. Cersei now just drains the rest of the time. And with that, your Cersei Lady Lions will pick up another win. This time against the Green County Tech Lady Golden Eagles 6-0. And with that win, I believe they stay undefeated. And they are now 3-0 in conference play. In stats for this game, Georgie McMahon, she had three goals. A hat trick for herself. Avery Meadows, she had a goal early. And the Daniel Twins also had goals early in the first half as well, giving your Cersei Lady Lions... Your six to zero win. And that's gonna do it for the girls part. I have the boys coming up here momentarily, but thank you for watching Cersei Lion TV Cersei Lady Lion Soccer here on Lion TV.